in this month's Mother's Day edition of our Celebrity Makeover, we hear from Carly McLean, who nominated her very courageous mom. But it did take a little trickery to get the Kingston, Ontario nurse to stop in for her big surprise. We're already in the house, and mom, oh, she's coming through the door right now. Oh my gosh. Hi. Hi, hey, mom. Come in. Are you Connie? You must be Connie. Hi, Dad. Hi, how are you? How are you? <laughs> nice to see you. I can't believe I'm seeing you. So, <laughs> your daughter wrote in and thought that maybe you deserved a day of pampering, oh a little gosh. celebrity makeover. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? Okay. You are okay? <laughs> Carly pulled out all the stops to give back to the woman who has given her so much. You were thinking you were just coming for a visit? My daughter's receiving an, an award. No, 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 no. Oh, you're not? <laughs> ah. No, totally made it up. Carly, you're <laughs> the only one that doesn't know about this. <laughs> In 1998, Connie was diagnosed with breast cancer. The disease took a physical and emotional toll, but staying positive led to patching up a troubled marriage and re-educating herself to become a nurse. The last 10 years have been a constant challenge for my mother. She is the strongest person I know and is a constant inspiration every single day. I would love to give her the gift of looking and feeling beautiful and to let her know how much I love and appreciate her. It seems that you keep bouncing back. What is it in you that says, I'm not done yet, let's, let's keep pushing? The will to survive, the will to achieve something better be more successful in life to reach happiness I guess love when was the last time you pampered yourself I don't know that I have I <laughs> <laughs> the chemotherapy had a, a great toll on me physically I, you don't feel like a woman so much anymore uh, it's hard to um, to feel feminine I guess at times well, we've lined up the best in the biz to help Connie once again feel like the beautiful woman that she is. And this time, it's a celebrity makeover for two. Did you know that you're gonna get a makeover tomorrow too? No, wait, you not. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> and all of that is later on in the show. the show you met Connie McLean, a breast cancer survivor who was being treated to a very special Mother's Day celebrity makeover by her daughter Carly. Well, it's time now for the big reveal. The chemotherapy had a, a great toll on me physically. I, you don't feel like a woman so much anymore. Well, Judy Inc. stylist Trisha Campbell is going to change all of that at downtown Toronto's flagship Bay store. I know one of the concerns was that um, Connie wasn't feeling feminine as of lately, so I deliberately went out and sought after like, skirts and dresses, really pretty pieces, nothing too fussy or high maintenance. Pockets, yeah. Favorite I like, detail. Yeah. I like the skirt, I don't know if it's a top. I like the skirt a lot. It'll be uh, a mother-daughter day that we will never forget, for sure. Next, over to Mark Florina at Mark Anthony Salon. We watch these shows on TV and think, oh wow, we just love to have a makeover. And I say, I can't believe it's actually happening. After 16 rounds of radiation and months of chemotherapy, Connie's hair has taken a beating. And that's when I used to start to take the scissors and cut my hair uh, a little bit more and try and get my daughter to help me with it. <laughs> so. As their color sets, Carly and Connie get a Mac makeover by senior artist Jane McKay. Your skin's luminescent, we frame dry a little bit, gorgeous lip color, pink cheeks. I think you look hot. Thank you. Hope you like it. <laughs> That's different. I actually, I like it. I love it. I love the color. Yeah, I like the color too. Looking positively radiant, Connie and Carly show off their new looks to celeb photographer Kobe at Kobe A. I think she looks great. I love it. I'm really proud of her. I think after today, she will feel more confidence, both emotionally and physically, with herself. I wanted to let you know that, unfortunately, Cheryl wasn't able to make it to the shoot, uh, but she left you a message in another room. Hi, ladies. Sorry I couldn't make it to the big reveal. I'm sure you both look wonderful. But we couldn't let you get all dressed up and have nowhere to go. Here's a gift card for dinner at the Swanky Spice Root Asian Bistro. Enjoy your night out show. I'm gonna cry. Don't cry. Because <laughs> I'm in total shock that you did this. 
And no one could ever have a better daughter than you.